Good evening campers and welcome back to Lotus Operations and in today's video I'm going to show you some gear that I got for my bug out kit or if things do end up collapsing so that I can be able to carry the survival gear that I gather around my place and be able to bug out to a different location. So let's begin. Okay guys welcome back to Lotus Operations and as I mentioned before I have been gathering some gear some tactical gear. Um, they are Antarctica from Antarctica, which is actually a really good brand. And this brand, I don't have the tag on the outside, so I don't remember what it is from. But in case we have to bug out for bug out situations. Now, this bag is a bag that you will wrap around your leg, and I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. And here is a three-day bug out backpack that weighs about 4.5 pounds and it has a waist strap that goes around your waist to support all the weight on your hips instead of your back so you can be able to carry it for longer time frames and distances and over here we have my Baofeng walkie-talkie holders that can be able to connect to either this guy or this guy or even your tactical vest if you have a tactical vest so let's open these up and so you can see what these look like Okay, guys, so as I mentioned here, this is the um, gear that I have that goes around your waist and your legs. Now, this one here was a little bit bigger in actual size compared to what the picture uh, showed on Amazon. Of course, they always like to make things, the size is not accurate. But overall, the bag itself is actually not that bag, bad, and it would fit well around your camo pants or whatever you need stuff like that and then you can adjust this little strap for whatever you're going to hang on the side to wherever you need it around the bag and this has a actually a pretty damn good size got my tactical scarf in here but a pretty damn good size pouch on the side to be able to hold whatever medical gear tactical gear um, ammunition whatever you need for a side and then you got another pocket here on this side here to be able to hold other stuff and then you even got a little pocket for your flashlights and things like that now the other bag we have here is the other big three-day bug out bag and as you can see here i haven't even sized it to my chest yet because i was waiting to do this video with y'all but we are going to do that now let me yank these puppies out here and get it sized to my back now of course wearing a tactical vest we're going to get this and as you can see this bag here like this is actually not that bad and it overall 4.5 pounds does not feel heavy now but whenever you start getting a lot of gear it's going to get heavy fast but that's where this strap comes in handy so of course we would get everything to the size of our pants that we're wearing because this size here is not going to be accurate at all until I actually get my pants here. So basically, this is what it's going to look like in a way. Okay, guys, so back to this virgin here. And the reason why I say it's a virgin is because these zippers have still yet to be broken. But on this bag, we have a pocket here, up here on the top. We got another little miniature pocket here. It's got the mole style webbing, so you can be able to do all your other attachments to the side. When you open this up, you've got a small little pouch here, and then you have actually a bigger style zipper style patch down here for the big size backpack. Now this one we are going to break loose and see how she is after we get rid of her stretch her open and all but as you can see here on the inside we've got extra little pouches you can store medical gear books whatever you need you've got a webbing pouch down here with um a zipper overlay here yep got that one broken loose got a little webbing here and then you have a velcro here so you can be able to attach if you need to attach laptops or whatever other gear you want inside so this is the big guy here so we shall zip her back on up for this size and then now we also have on this backpack we've got more pockets 
pockets on the side. More webbing. Where's the zipper? Okay, that's kind of weird. You give me a zipper, no zipper to play with. Interesting. Indeed. Hmm. That's how it just looks. Nope. This one's got a zipper on the side. Ha! Huh. Okay, so we found one defect. So you have little zippers that are on the side here. They open on up. They open up to having holes on the... Okay, guys, welcome back. Sorry, I couldn't get the zipper to move. So and then we have a zipper on the side to be able to open up. And then you get about a good hands distance fist in there like that. And then that will hold gear on the side. For this entire bag, it was around, uh, if I remember correctly, $40 or so. Um, and then we also got hooks down here. You can tie whatever you need to tie to it on it. The only defect I see with this bag, unless I'm overlooking the zipper, is there's no zipper on this pouch on this side, which is kind of sad because I don't have a pouch I can utilize now on the side. I'm going to have to let them know that. But overall, I'm actually really happy with the uh, bag. And it seems like it's going to be a really good quality bag to utilize. Um... And we got pockets in here, double pockets in here that you can utilize, and things like that. Okay, guys, so we opened up the top pouch now. The top pouch looks like with this on the inside. Um, I don't know what you were storing there, whatever you want. And then we have this one here. Now we can be able to open it because we got the zipper done. And it's just like another little bitty individual pouch. Maybe put some like waterproof books in or you know, notepads or whatever you need for your bug out situation okay guys so that's the um tactical backpack 3d bug backpack that's a little side pouch and then of course this is a little walkie talkie holder for the balfang walkie talkies so i'm gonna quickly toss that in right quick okay guys so these are my balfang walkie talkies that i highly recommend getting they're actually small miniature helm radios that goes approximately in good conditions 3.6 miles um, in town, which is really remarkable well considering all the buildings, the interference and stuff like that. Now if things collapse and we lose all power and there's less interference, they may actually go further in town. Um, but out in the field, I actually haven't had a chance to fully test them, but I went from in town to out in the field. I have a video on that, but 3.6 miles for these small original antennas without any extra boost of power was actually pretty remarkable for only a $30 radio. So these is the pouch for the Balfangs in which I've been trying to do so it can link in because my tactical vest does not have one. And as you can see, it links in pretty well. And this thing can hook to your waist belt, to your mole thing. So I could be able to hook it here if I need to, hook it to my backpack on the side and have a radio going over to my ear, whatever design I want to do. But this walkie talkie holder can fit Balfangs and you can even shrink the side down if you need to, to make it a little bit smaller, or if you got the fatter, bigger radios, you can adjust the top here with the elastic band to fit the taller radios to link them in. So all this stuff overall, besides the one defect, I recommend getting if you want to create your own bug out bag. I'll leave the links below to the Amazon areas that I got them from. And um, hope you all have fun. Lotus Operations out. Stay tuned. More shit heading your way.